James with RenergyCafe.com. Thanks for checking out our lecture series on electronic basics. What we're dealing with now is series circuits. Right? Now what a series circuit is, is what we've dealt with so far if you've been following our lecture series. And uh, it simply looks like this. All right. Now, this is your simple series circuit. There's no resistors in there. Uh, the, the, there's nothing but a straight path for the electrons to flow on. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put a couple resistors in here. And uh, we're going to put a voltage in here. And uh, then we're going to work the E equals I times R and uh, figure out how to measure some voltages uh, and current and uh, resistance using a series circuit. So, let's go ahead and say we have a 12 volt DC source. All right, we're still dealing with DC at this point. And uh, let's go ahead and throw in a couple resistors. This is the schematic symbol for resistor if you're not familiar with it. Anyway, a couple resistors. Now we're going to go ahead and put some values to these resistors. This one right here is going to go ahead and uh, we'll make this, let's say, 2 ohms. And let's make this one 4 ohms. We're going to keep it nice and simple for now. So we have 12 volts DC, a 2 ohm resistor, and a 4 ohm resistor. We have e something. equals I times R. Now we know the voltage is 12 volts DC. Okay. And we want to figure out the resistance here in order to figure out the uh, current. Now once we figure out the current, it's going to be consistent along the entire circuit here since uh, current stays the same. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Now, since 12 volts DC is in reference to the entire, the entire circuit here, we need to get the reference of resistance for the entire circuit. We do that simply by adding. We're going to add the 2 ohms and the 4 ohms and get 6. So we'll write I, which is what we're looking for, times 6 ohms. Now to solve this out, we divide both sides by 6 ohms. All right. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 2 equals I. And this is amps. So now what we know by this is that at this point right here, as this current is moving around, we have 2 amps. In here, we have 2 amps. In here, we have 2 amps. At any point in the circuit, we're going to have 2 amps. So now, knowing what our amperage is at each point of the circuit, we can now plug in our values and figure out what the voltage drop is at each point. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and grab my eraser here. And I'll go ahead and clear this off. And uh, this time it's going to be pretty easy because we're going to solve for voltage. So let's go ahead and take our voltage equals and 2 ohms, and it's going to be 2 ohms, it's going to be amps first, 2 amps times. 2 ohms. So we'll go ahead and write these amps in here. It's unnecessary because it's only going to convert the volts at the end, but 2 times 2 is 4, so we have 4 volts right here. So we know between this section and this section right here that there is 2 ohms of resistance, 4 volts, and 2 amps. Now, let's go ahead and do the next one real quick. You know that we have 4 ohms right here. Alright, and E equals, we have our 2 amps times 4 ohms. 2 times 4 is 8, so that gives us 8 volts. So between this point and this point, we have 8 volts, 2 amps, and 4 ohms. It's pretty simple. And obviously you can work E equals I times R and uh, any way you want, just by rearranging the formula. 
But this is a serious circuit.